Okay, 20th October 2023, and uh, if you've been following me on this page for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Ace Frehley, and uh, I've been wanting to do like a light-up guitar. If you ever seen the uh, Back in the New York Groove guitar that Ace Frehley plays, where the lights go from the left to the right in panels, sheets. Well, I've been experimenting all day today, and I think I figured out a way to do it. So I'm going to do a guitar, but it's going to be a random star guitar. Um, Eddie Van Halen type random star. Um, it's really cool. But check it out. Let me show you what I did. Let me turn the camera around here if I can. I have no pick guard. And I figured out how to do the yellow. I can't see the camera. I figured out how to do the LEDs. I got it hooked to a 12 volt circuit. And I'll show you in depth. I drilled holes in you know certain spaces on the pick guard and then I use these LEDs that I got off Amazon you can see the camera I have to turn the camera around but and then I rigged it to a 12 volt battery and I had these special harnesses made and I think I'm gonna be able to do an ace freely guitar that starts five zones it's gonna start and there's gonna be I don't know probably hundreds of lights on each LED circuit and it's just gonna be like the Ace Freely I don't know if you New York Groove guitar if you're familiar with that guitar at all but that looks really cool let me turn the camera around so I can see what I'm showing you one second alright that's better so it started in the zone from the left to the right and as you can see I just did I drilled a bunch of holes I was just this is a complete experiment um, with the LEDs I you know I had success with the ET electric guitar build and uh, I didn't want to burn up too many LEDs so I drilled more holes and I wanted to use up the LEDs I used up this one package of 30 plus LEDs from Amazon but yep there we go I figured out how to do it so and it's got the first zone second zone third third fourth zone and the fifth zone is just the three at the top there so very cool so I'll look forward to that I already ordered the neck the neck's gonna be like the Eddie Van Halen random star with three on each side I'll have to show you that so I'll cut the wood for it and then we're gonna get um, plastic plexiglass and we're gonna cut all I'm gonna cut all the holes in the plexiglass and then I'm gonna spray paint it on the back so it's gonna be mirror so it's gonna be the mirror and then I'm gonna drum out on the guitar I'll show you that but it's gonna be a long in-depth process but I hope you join me on this build going to be very cool um, ace fraley light up um, random star electric guitar we'll call that the electric guitar build and it's going to be cool and i'm going to separate the random star if you know that shape it's uh i'll have to show you it's in the other room um but do the five separate zones and it's going to go from the left to the right so and i'm going to have an on switch and everything but very cool so that's how fast the lights are going to go and see how bright they are I think I can put infinite amount of because it's a 12 volt battery. All right, hope everybody's having a good night and we will see you soon. Very cool. All right, I wanted to give you a demonstration. I'm on YouTube and let me show you the guitar that I want to imitate. This is the Ace Freely back in the New York Groove light up guitar that he's holding. Ace Freely, the legend and the man. If you're familiar with Kiss, then you know this guitar right here. This might not be a great video. I've got a few videos I can show you. But that's what I'm going to try to imitate, just like that. Uh, I'm not sure what direction. I was thinking about going from left to right. The other way that he has it. But let me see if I can find a better video. But you see how the guitar lights up. And I'm going to have the one single pickup with the stop and tail pace single uh, bridge, just like that. And I'll probably put the volume on the front of the guitar. And then I'll put the... Oh, we'll get into that, but... The, let me see if I can find another video of the light up guitar yeah this is a, a video of the model if you search Ace Freely back in New York group light up guitar or just light up guitar you'll see what I'm saying but you'll see yeah I guess I'll go from the same direction it seems like that's what the general direction is from the front to the back Let's see, one second, let me just, instead of just New York Groove, and they spelt it wrong, <laughs> I did the, uh, the auto, the spelling, he spelt the, <laughs> the name wrong there, but, one second, yeah, A 
Chase Fraley, light up guitar. Uh, it's a bad video, but yeah, let's see if I can find a better video. Here we go. Here's a guy playing the flasher guitar, I guess you can say. This is exactly what I'm going to imitate. And I guess it is going that one same direction, so we'll go that direction, I suppose. Go in any direction. But I'm going to make it just like that. But I'm going to do the random star shape. Instead of the Les Paul shape, I want to do a random star shape. And mine's going to be different, of course. It's going to be with the LED lights. Like I uh, figured out, this is going to be really cool. Gonna take, it's gonna take a lot of work and it's gonna be a long build, but I think the uh, the end result is just gonna be absolutely amazing. See if I get this one hand. I didn't hook it up to a switch. I just hooked it up directly to the 12 volt battery. And see how the 12 volt batteries are small. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Let me hook that back up. But I want to show you just in general the wiring that I came up with. And now I'll, I'll read, you know, modify. Excuse me to make the wiring more efficient than that. But let me go ahead and let me install this. Let me set the phone down for one second. I'm still here. Yeah, do this. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. See, but instead of going that direction, we're going to go the other direction. And uh, like I said, I just did the fifth position, which is still three LEDs, because I wasn't sure if it was going to work at first. And I don't want to burn up all my LEDs, but I'm going to order plenty of these. I've got all these left. You know, I don't remember how many were in this box, but this is the better quality LEDs. And these three are the top three. The fit zone, the, just the three lights. These are the lights. And these are these other ones. And just all my clippings and everything, but it's going to be very cool. So we're going to do, like I said, the random star shape, which is, let's see. I did an Eddie Van Halen going over him. Take it with me. Alright, here we go. Ah, P and Calvin. Got the paint going on that. But the random star shape is that shape right there. The one I did with the Eddie Van Halen paint job. And then I did one, the random star, yeah. I'll have to show you. But we're going to do that shape and we're going to start with the zones one two three four five and it's gonna light up doop, 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 and it's gonna be metallic silver and I'm not sure if I'll yeah I'm gonna go with the uh, the rosewood neck rosewood fretboard maple neck uh, and then we'll do silver on the front and I'm thinking about doing my name in in white on the fretboard but we'll see we'll work all that out but yeah it's gonna be a bridge just like that and a single humbucker pickup which is a single volume tone just like Ace Frehley's guitar but all right so <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get that going on, and uh, like I said, I figured out a way of doing it a really cool way, and I think this way is going to be really good. Uh, drilling all these individual holes, I want to try to get them as symmetrical as possible. Um, sorry about this long-winded explanation, but let's see if I can find another video. Yeah, but that, that's basically it, with the random star shape. And let's see if I've got a picture of that. Nope. The random star. Let's see if I can do it here. Let's work with the Bing. <laughs> I always use the Bing search engine. New Eddie Van Halen random star electric guitar. And that way it'll... Okay, I gotta stop it from responding. I'm going to go to Anne Halen, random star, electric guitar. This is how I navigate the internet. Oh, exciting, huh? Let's see if we can find some pictures of the guitar shape. I'm sure we will. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's the exact shape that I'm going for. Right there, headstock and all. That's the shape of the headstock I ordered. And that's the, the guitar body shape. So... That's going to be perfect. Let's see. There we go. Yep. That's the exact same shape that I'm going to. I'm going to use actually the same site. So to, let me save this image. I'm going to save this image. That's where I'm going to get the, uh, the body contour from. Exactly that. And like I said, the exact same 
headstock and everything. So let me show you the headstock again. Here's the back view. But that's going to be the shape of the headstock. Bingo. Just like that. Let's see if I can find the, uh, the neck that I ordered. Here we go. It's arriving tomorrow. So I'll have the neck. This is the exact neck that I ordered. Boom. Pretty close. The headstock is a little different, but that's the headstock I'm going to use. And I'm going to cut the body shape. And we're going to go with the random star. So very cool. Look forward to that. I'll be starting that very soon. And we'll do all the body. Let me go back to the new Eddie Van Halen. To see what they have. He's got the, uh, anyway. Yeah, so we're just going to do the one pickup. And the, uh, here we go. Exact same shape. These ones sell new now for, yeah, that's just a different color, but same body shape or anything. I'm just going to have the one pickup, the one volume knob, and then the, just the bridge. Let's see if I can show you the bridge that I ordered too. Yeah, here's the bridge. Just like on the guitar that I had right there. So that's going to be a single bridge. So that's going to be very cool. Like I said, I look forward to that. And uh, it seems like the 12 volt battery that I'm using is the mini 12 volt batteries. And it's going to last a really long time. And I'll hook it up to the switch. We'll work all that out. But, yep, yeah, it's going to be very cool. All right, hope everybody's having a good night. And we'll see you soon. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. It is the 20th of October, 2023. And uh, I don't know if you recall, but I'm a big Kiss fan. And I'm a big Ace Freely fan in particular. I've got some Ace Freely guitars. Um, I've always wanted to do an Ace Freely guitar that... Uh, Okay, 20th October 2023, and uh, if you've been following me on this page for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Ace Frehley, and uh, I've been wanting to do like a light-up guitar. If you ever seen the uh, Back in the New York Groove guitar that Ace Frehley plays, where the lights go from the left to the right in panels, sheets? Well, I've been experimenting all day today, and I think I figured out a way to do it. So I'm going to do a guitar, but it's going to be a random star guitar. Um, Eddie Van Halen type random star um, it's really cool but check it out let me show you what I did let me turn the camera around here if I can I have no pick guard and I figured out how to do the yellow I can't see the camera I figured out how to do the LEDs I got it hooked to a 12 volt circuit and I'll show you in depth I drilled holes in you know certain spaces on the pick guard and then I use these LEDs that I got off Amazon you can see the camera I have to turn the camera around but and then I rigged it to a 12 volt battery and I had these special harnesses made and I think I'm gonna be able to do an Ace Freely guitar that starts five zones it's gonna start and there's gonna be I don't know probably hundreds of lights on each LED circuit and it's just gonna be like the Ace Freely I don't know if you New York Groove guitar if you're familiar with the guitar at all but that looks really cool let me turn the camera around so I can see what I'm showing you one second alright that's better so it started in the zone from the left to the right and as you can see I just did I drilled a bunch of holes I was just this is a complete experiment um, with the LEDs I you know I had success with the ET electric guitar build and uh, I didn't want to burn up too many LEDs so I drilled more holes and I wanted to use up the LEDs I used up this one package of 30 plus LEDs from Amazon but yep there we go I figured out how to do it so and it's got the first zone second zone third third fourth zone and the fifth zone is just the three at the top there so very cool so I'll look forward to that I already ordered the neck the neck's gonna be like the Eddie Van Halen random star with three on each side I'll have to show you that so I'll cut the wood for it and then we're gonna get um, plastic plexiglass and we're gonna cut all I'm gonna cut all the holes in the plexiglass and then I'm gonna spray paint it on the back so it's gonna be mirror so it's gonna be the mirror and then I'm gonna dremel out on the guitar I'll show you that but it's gonna be a long in-depth process but I hope you join me on this build going to be very cool um, Ace Fraley light up um, random star electric guitar we'll call that the electric guitar build and it's going to be cool I'm going to separate the random star if you know that shape it's uh, I'll have to show you it's in the other room um, but do the five separate zones and it's going to go from left to right 
So, and I'm gonna have it on switch and everything, but very cool. So that's how fast the lights are gonna go and see how bright they are. I think I can put infinite amount of, cause it's a 12 volt battery. All right, hope everybody's having a good night and we will see you soon. Very cool. All right, I wanted to give you a demonstration. I'm on YouTube and let's show you the guitar that I want to imitate. This is the Ace Freely back in the New York Groove light up guitar that he's holding. Ace Freely, the legend of the man. If you're familiar with Kiss, then you know this guitar right here. This might not be a great video. I've got a few videos I can show you, but that's what I'm gonna try to imitate just like that. Uh, I'm not sure what direction. I was thinking about going from left to right, the other way that he has it. But let me see if I can find a better video. But you see how the guitar lights up and I'm gonna have the one single pickup with the stop and tailpiece single uh, bridge just like that. And I'll probably put the volume on the front of the guitar and then I'll put the I will get into that but the let me see if I can find another video of the light up guitar yeah this is a, a video of the model if you search Ace Freely back in New York Groove light up guitar or just light up guitar you'll see what I'm saying but you'll see yeah I guess I'll go from the same direction it seems like that's what the general direction is from the front to the back let's see one second let me just instead of just New York Groove and they spelt it wrong <laughs> I did the uh, the auto the spelling he spelt the <laughs> the name wrong there but one second yeah Ace Fraley light up guitar uh, it's a bad video see if I can find a better video here we go here's a guy playing the flasher guitar I guess you can say this is exactly what I'm gonna imitate and I guess it is going that one same direction so we'll go that direction I suppose go in any direction but I'm gonna make it just like that but I'm gonna do the random star shape instead of the Les Paul shape I want to do a random star shape and mine's gonna be different of course it's gonna be with the LED lights like I uh, figured out, this is gonna be really cool. It's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of work and it's gonna be a long build, but I think the uh, the end result is just gonna be absolutely amazing. See if I get this one hand. I didn't hook it up to a switch. I just hooked it up directly to the 12 volt battery and see how the 12 volt batteries are small. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Let me hook that back up. But I want to show you just in general. The wiring that I came up with, and I'll, I'll read, you know, modify, excuse me, to make the wiring more efficient than that. But let me go ahead and let me install this. Let me set the phones down for one second. I'm still here. Yeah, do this. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. See, but instead of going that direction, we're gonna go the other direction. And uh, like I said, I just did the fifth position, which is still three LEDs, because I wasn't sure if it was going to work at first. And I didn't want to burn up all my LEDs, but I'm going to order plenty of these. I've got all these left. You know, I don't remember how many were in this box, but this is the better quality LEDs. And these three are the top three. The fifth zone, the, just the three lights. These are the lights, and these are these other ones and just all my clippings and everything but it's going to be very cool so we're going to do like i said the random star shape which is let's see i did an eddie van halen it's going in the room take it with me all right here we go ah p and calvin got the paint going on that but the random star shape is that shape right there the one i did with the eddie van halen paint job and then i did one the random star yeah I'll have to show you but we're gonna do that shape and we're gonna start with the zones one two three four five and it's gonna light up doop, 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 and it's gonna be metallic silver and I'm not sure if I'll yeah I'm gonna go with the uh, the rosewood neck rosewood fretboard maple neck uh, and then we'll do silver on the front and I'm thinking about doing my name in in white on the fretboard but we'll see We'll work all that out but yeah it's going to be a bridge just like that and a single humbucker pickup which is a single volume tone just like ace Prelay's guitar but all right so let me go back in the other room <laughs> okay 
Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get that going on. And uh, like I said, I figured out a way of doing it, really cool way. And I think this way is gonna be really good. Uh, drilling all these individual holes, I wanna try to get them as symmetrical as possible. Um, sorry about this long-winded explanation, but see if I can find another video. Yeah, but that, that's basically it with the random star shape. And let's see if I've got a picture of that. Nope. The random star. Let's see if I can do it here. Let's work with the Bing. <laughs> I always use the Bing search engine. New Eddie Van Halen random star electric guitar. And that way it'll... Okay, I gotta stop it from responding. I'm gonna go to Ann Halen Random Star Electric Guitar. <laughs> this is how I navigate the internet. Oh, exciting, huh? Let's see if we can find some pictures of the guitar shape. I'm sure we will. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's the exact shape that I'm going for. Right there, headstock and all. That's the shape of the headstock I ordered. And that's the, the guitar body shape. So that's gonna be perfect let's see there we go yep that's the exact same shape that I'm going to I'm gonna use actually the same site so to let me save this image I'm gonna save this image that's where I'm gonna get the uh, the body contour from exactly that and like I said the exact same headstock and everything so let me show you the headstock again here's the back view but that's gonna be the shape of the headstock and go just like that let's see if I can find the uh, the neck that I ordered here we go it's arriving tomorrow so I'll have the neck this is the exact neck that I ordered boom pretty close the headstock is a little different but that's the headstock I'm gonna use and I'm gonna cut the body shape and we're gonna go with the random star so very cool look forward to that I'll be starting that very soon and we'll do all the body let me go back to the new idea and healing to see what they have he's got the uh anyway yeah so we're just gonna do the one pickup and the uh here we go exact same shape these ones sell new now for yeah that's just a different color but same body shape and everything i'm just gonna have the one pickup the one volume knob and then the just the bridge let's see if i can show you the bridge that i ordered too yeah here's the bridge just like on the guitar that I had right there. So that's going to be a single bridge. So that's going to be very cool. Like I said, I look forward to that. And uh, it seems like this 12 volt battery that I'm using is the mini 12 volt batteries. And it's going to last a really long time. And I'll hook it up to a switch. We'll work all that out. But yep, yeah, it's going to be very cool. All right, hope everybody's having a good night. We'll all right, good evening, everybody. It is the 21st of, 21st of October, 2023. And I'm happy to announce that the Random Star Light Up guitar is in the drawing phase. All right. If you recall earlier, um, the la yesterday when I posted, I did the uh, the LEDs as a test on the, uh, the old Strat Pickard. I've uh, drawn up the shape, the Random Star shape, really cool. And we're going to go with the EMG Hot. 81 pickup in the bridge position. We're gonna go with the Les Paul style clear and silver knob. Very cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with the black square input jack, and I'm guessing it's gonna be in this vicinity here. Go with the regular strap buttons I like to always use the Shale or um, Dunlop locking strap buttons, and I'm guessing one's gonna be like right in that area, and then on the back of the neck. Here's the neck that I was talking about that came in today. Very cool. Reminiscent of the Eddie Van Halen Random Star guitars that are out now. Very cool. It's a little bit different on the top, but almost exactly the same. We're going to go with the round oval shape tuners. Ones I love to do. Three aside. Regular uh, chrome hardware other than that. Um, we're going to go with the EMG. I've got an extra EMG volume potentiometer. These are really good. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, focus. There we go. And uh, that's very cool. We're going to go with a switch. I haven't decided where I'm going to put the switch yet for the LED. Um, 
preferably somewhere close to the wiring cavity because um and with the potentiometer it's going to go through the top layer the top layer is going to be uh, i'm going to get some vinyl or some um plexiglass and i'm going to spray paint the, the back of the plexiglass uh the mirror finish so it's going to look like a mirror it's going to look like a mirror finish and then when i draw all the holes i'll do I'll drill the holes first and then spray paint the mirror so and then it'll attach to the once i get the body completely you know the neck everything with the body um this hole is going to be all the way through the body because the potentiometer is going to go just through the well this is long enough i might be able to yeah i might be able to get a little i might leave a yeah i'll probably leave a little lip underneath there as well oh you'll see what anyone gets that point but yeah see where the zones are okay this will be zone one two three four and five so it'll light up i'm probably going to do it like ace freely's guitar it's going to go light up on this side first it's going to boom 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 light 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 just like it did on the demonstration the other day very cool and i'm going to dremel see where the edges are i'm going to dremel down probably about a good quarter inch to allow for the leds and I'm going to make the upper plate with the plexiglass, like I said, the sheet. And I'm going to draw all the holes and do all the wiring. It's going to, it's going to be complete. Uh, figuring that out as I go. But this is the concept that I've got so far. So I think it's going to work perfect. As far as the truss rod cover, probably going to create a... I've got a mirror, mirror material left over from another build. And I'll probably cut one the bell shape or I'll have to figure out a good shape for the... We're probably going to go with the mirror for that. So very cool. And then the back, I'm um, going to have the 9-volt battery compartment. Let's see if this one hand. This one's going to be the one where you you put the 9-volt battery in there and then it locks in. So it would be pretty cool and it's shallow because it's going to be the standard uh, thickness of the body. But it's going to be very cool. Uh, I'll cut, start cutting the wood for it tomorrow and start working on plugging in all this. Um, and I'm going to dremel down, like I said inside the lip here and inside the one cavity there so all that's going to be the same um it's just going to go down probably like a quarter inch i'm probably guessing and then i'm going to attach the the uh plastic or the uh you know the plastic with all the leds in it i'm going to probably going to have you know screws one two three four five and then six screws kind of like intertwined within there and it'll hold it down so hopefully that'll work good and when i cut the uh the opening for this i'm going to leave just a little bit of the lip so and then it's going to be painted metallic silver all the rest of the body is going to be metallic silver uh, i'm going to leave the back of the neck the you know it's really good maple so that's going to stay the same but i am going to uh paint the front of the headstock uh silver and then have the mirror finish and i'm thinking about putting my instead of putting a logo i could put a black logo here i think it'd be cool to have like flat white raglan logo right there or even silver i might go with metallic silver but i want to match the dots because the dots you know it's going to be raglan probably like the uh, ninja warrior uh rhinestone guitar i don't know if you've seen that but the same sort of thing um I can go in the other room and show you that. Yeah, let me go in the other room. Let me turn the camera up one second. All right, we got the Rhinestone Ninja Warrior. That's the logo that I'm going, the Raglan logo in the center of the fretboard with the dots also. And I'm going to keep it flat white or a pearl. Try to find some, some good paint to match the dots. But yeah, the Raglan logo right there. Okay, let me go back in the other room. Back in the other room. And I think it's very cool that I'm doing the light up for a random star shaped guitar. Because, you know, the typical way would be to you know, if I'm going to recreate that guitar, is to go with Les Paul shape. You know, just like a standard Les Paul shape. Like the Ace Freely. Which I've got a really cool Ace Freely guitar right there. That go with the Les Paul shape. But I wanted to do something cool. So, I did order a another neck for the, uh, I'm doing the Gun Ray's Hell guitar. The tribute to uh, Rick uh, from uh, Cheap Trick and uh his gun raised hell and i ordered a reverse headstock banana headstock just like on my custom made guitars and i'm going to do an explorer light up guitar as well but that's down the line this is going to be the prototype the first version so it's going to be very cool hope hopefully you follow me on this build it's going to be an intense one but i think the overall effect just do almost dropped the phone um the overall effect of having the the lights light up like that 
and I got to figure out where I'm going to put the switch. I might put the switch down here and I'm going to use the three-way switch because I might use one position for something else. That'd be pretty cool. But we'll see. We'll figure that out. And it'll probably be down here somewhere so I could reach down and flick it and turn it on. Or I could even put it up on an upper horn and just route it around the back, which shouldn't be a problem at all. So we'll see. It all depends. But yeah, that'd be very cool. Like I said, we'll start. We'll cut the wood tomorrow. And we'll get all the body and all the other stuff dialed in and uh, work it out. But all right, Random Star Light Up Guitar Build is in the drawing phase. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. All right, good evening, everybody. It is the 21st of, 21st of October, 2023. And I'm happy to announce that the Random Star Light Up Guitar is in the drawing phase. All right. If you recall earlier... Um, the last, yesterday when I posted, I did the uh, the LEDs as a test on the, uh, the old Strat Pickard. I've uh, drawn up the shape, the random star shape, really cool. And we're going to go with the EMG Hot 81 pickup in the bridge position. We're going to go with the Les Paul style clear and silver knob, very cool. Uh, I'm going to go with the black square input jack. And I'm guessing it's going to be in this vicinity here. Go with the regular strap buttons I like to always use, the Shale or Dunlop locking strap buttons. And I'm guessing one's going to be like right in that area and then on the back of the neck. Here's the neck that I was talking about that came in today. Very cool. Reminiscent of the Eddie Van Halen Random Star guitars that are out now. Very cool. It's a little bit different on the top, but almost exactly the same. We're going to go with the round oval shape tuners. Ones I love to do. Three aside. Regular... Uh, chrome hardware other than that um i'm gonna go with the emg i've got an extra emg volume potentiometer these are really good Let's see if i can show you yeah focus there we go and uh that's very cool i'm gonna go with a switch i haven't decided where i'm gonna put the switch yet for the led um preferably somewhere close to the wiring cavity because um and with the potentiometer, it's going to go through the top layer. The top layer is going to be, uh, I'm going to get some vinyl or some um, plexiglass. And I'm going to spray paint the, the back of the plexiglass, uh, the mirror finish. So it's going to look like a mirror. It's going to look like a mirror finish. And then when I draw all the holes, I'll drill, drill the holes first and then spray paint the mirror. So, and then it'll attach to the, once I get the body completely, you know, the neck, everything with the body. Um, this hole is going to be all the way through the body because the potentiometer is going to go just through the Well, this is long enough. I might be able to yeah, I might be able to get a little I might leave a yeah, I'll probably leave a little lip underneath there as well Oh, you'll see what I mean when it gets to that point, but Yeah, see where the zones are. Okay, this will be zone one two three four and five So it'll light up. I'm probably gonna do it like Ace Frehley's guitar It's gonna go light up on this side first. It's gonna boom 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 Boom, 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 boom. Light, 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 light. Just like it did on the demonstration the other day. Very cool. And I'm going to Dremel, see where the edges are. I'm going to Dremel down probably about a good quarter inch to allow for the LEDs. And I'm going to make the upper plate with the plexiglass, like I said, the sheet. And I'm going to draw all the holes and do all the wiring. It's going to be complete. Uh, Figuring that out as I go, but this is the concept that I've got so far, so I think it's going to work perfect. As far as the truss rod cover, probably going to create a, I've got a mirror, mirror material left over from another build, and I'll probably cut one the bell shape, or I'll have to figure out a good shape for the, we're probably going to go with the mirror for that, so very cool. And then the back, I'm going to have the 9-volt battery compartment, let's see if I get this one hand, this one's going to be the one where you... You put the 9-volt battery in there, and then it locks in. So it'll be pretty cool, and it's shallow, because it's going to be the standard uh, thickness of the body, but it's going to be very cool. Uh, I'll cut, start cutting the wood for it tomorrow and start working on plugging in all this. Um, and I'm going to Dremel down, like I said, inside the lip here and inside the one cavity there. So all that's going to be the same. Um, it's just going to go down probably like a quarter inch, I'm probably guessing. And then I'm going to attach the the uh, plastic or the, uh, you know, the plastic with all the LEDs in it. I'm going to probably going to have, you know, screws one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
four, five, and then six screws kind of like intertwined within there and it'll hold it down. So hopefully that'll work good. And when I cut the, uh, the opening for this, I'm going to leave just a little bit of the lip. So, and then it's going to be painted metallic silver. All the rest of the body is going to be metallic silver. I'm going to leave the back of the neck, the, you know, it's really good maple. So that's going to stay the same, but I am going to, uh, paint the front of the headstock uh, silver and then have the mirror finish and I'm thinking about putting my instead of putting a logo I could put a black logo here I think it'd be cool to have like flat white raglan logo right there or even silver I might go with metallic silver but I want to match the dots because the dots you know it's going to be raglan probably like the uh, ninja warrior uh rhinestone guitar I don't know if you've seen that but the same sort of thing um I can go in the other room and show you that. Yeah, let me go in the other room. Let me turn the camera up one second. All right, we got the Rhinestone Ninja Warrior. That's the logo that I'm going, the Raglan logo in the center of the fretboard with the dots also. And I'm going to keep it flat white or a pearl. Try to find some, some good paint to match the dots. But yeah, the Raglan logo right there. Okay, let me go back in the other room. Back in the other room. And I think it's very cool that I'm doing the light up for a random star shaped guitar. Because, you know, the typical way would be to you know, if I'm going to recreate that guitar, is to go with Les Paul shape. You know, just like a standard Les Paul shape. Like the Ace Freely. Which I've got a really cool Ace Freely guitar right there. That go with the Les Paul shape. But I wanted to do something cool. So, I did order a another neck for the, uh, I'm doing the Gun Race Hell guitar. The tribute to uh, Rick uh, from uh, Cheap Trick. And uh, his gun raised hell. And I ordered a reverse headstock banana headstock. Just like on my custom made guitars. And I'm going to do an Explorer light up guitar as well. But that's down the line. This is going to be the prototype. The first version. So it's going to be very cool. Hope, hopefully you follow me on this build. It's going to be an intense one. But I think the overall effect. Just oop. Almost dropped the phone. Um, the overall effect of having the, the lights light up like that. And I got to figure out where I'm going to put the switch. I might put the switch down here and I'm going to use the three-way switch because I might use one position for something else. That'd be pretty cool. But we'll see. We'll figure that out. It'll probably be down here somewhere so I could reach down and flick it and turn it on. Or I could even put it up on an upper horn and just route it around the back, which shouldn't be a problem at all. So we'll see. It all depends. But yeah, that'd be very cool. Like I said, we'll start. We'll cut the wood tomorrow. And we'll get all the body and all the other stuff dialed in and uh, work it out. But all right, Random Star Light Up Guitar Build is in the drawing phase. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. All right, 23rd of October 2023. Time to continue work on the Random Star Light Up Electric Guitar. Time to cut out the cutout. Very cool. All right, so let me cut it up, and then we'll see when I get that done. All right, got the shape cut out. It looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to so can, um, figure some wood and get that going, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, very cool. Got the shape cut out. You know, I got the orbital sander, and I'm going to straighten all my lines and make everything perfect. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Back back up there. I got the shape dialed in perfectly. Looks pretty awesome. Yeah, this concludes progress for today. Got some errands to run. Got some stuff to do, but yeah, turned out really cool. All right, body is blank is cut. Uh, we'll continue here in the next day or so, and we'll see you later. Good morning, 24th of October 2023. Time to continue working on the Light Up Ninja Star electric guitar build. As you recall, the other day we cut the body yesterday. Looks pretty good. Uh, so now we're going to work on cutting the neck pocket, installing the neck, installing the bridge, you know, all the good stuff. So let's start with that and figure out exactly where the neck's going to go, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, marking out where the neck cavity is gonna be. Looks about right. And then the one volume knob right there. And I can't wait for the lights, the LED to boom, boom, three, four, five, it's gonna look so cool. But yeah, it looks about right. I'll double check with my other ones in the other room first before I commit to this. But I've got it drawn out, get that scroll style and cut out for the neck pocket. All right, cut out the neck pocket perfectly. I did uh, cut a shim, probably about a centimeter so thick uh, i think we got the right angle and everything like that let me go ahead and install the bridge or install the neck i'll uh, put a little bit more of a shim in there with the back have it on a little bit of a slight angle backward or downward and we'll get that going i'll see you in a bit all right 
perfect insulation of the neck. Looks pretty good. I think it's on the right angle. I got my bridge uh, intonation line. Very cool. Love the headstock. All right, so let me uh, go ahead and, oh, fingers crossed, uh, get the bridge going. Uh, install the bridge. So uh, I'll be right back when I get some progress on that. Soon. All right, double check, triple check, quadruple checked all my marks and my openings. I'm going to go ahead and drill out for the stud posts. I've got my perfect uh, drill bit. All right, fingers crossed this goes well. This is always the make or break. Right, perfect installation of the bridge. And I've got the, uh, the pickup where it needs to be. That's how it's looking. And uh, I'm going to set the shim at that. And then uh, once I do the body filler and all that, we can also shim it again if we need to go a little bit higher. But as far as the room, got that much room. Got about uh, about two centimeters or so in the bridge for adjustment. Because, you know, if we have to go down. And like I said, I'm going to set it like this. And then we can always shim it just a little bit more, you know, after the fact. So this will be good. And then I've got where the pickup is going to go. It's going to go, you know, pretty close to the bridge. That way, when I mark out for the uh, the dremeling bits, because as you recall, we're gonna dremel, you know, we're gonna make a line around everything and then dremel it down. And I gotta figure out where the uh, the uh, uh, potentiometer is gonna go, the one volume knob, and we're gonna figure out a switch. Uh, input jack's probably gonna be here. Um, and I gotta figure out where to put the switch. Um, I'm thinking probably up top, somewhere out of the way, where you're not gonna like bump it accidentally. Could even put it possibly like way up here a switch for the lights the led um and then just channel it um but i'm not sure yet uh i might put it down here somewhere but i don't want it in the way of your knee because you know it's a kind of a switch i don't want to put it on the face of the guitar because i think it'll take away from the led because we already got the volume now but let me figure that out and we'll see in a bit I figured out we're going to put the potentiometer the one volume knob right there uh, EMG active pot pedometer uh, potentiometer uh, so let me go ahead and dismantle everything and then cut out for the uh, pickup cavity and then we'll see, take it from there and we'll see in a little bit perfect cut out for the pickup cavity pretty awesome yep fits perfect plenty of room for maneuverability all right next step I'm going to go ahead and drill probably do the top post for the ground wire for the bridge and then we'll start figuring out the wiring. And I figured uh, I was gonna put the switch there for the LED um, right there where the X is. And then I gotta figure out the input jack, but, and then pretty straightforward wiring. But when I leave enough room in there and the cavity up in the back for the, uh, the 12 volt battery and for the LED, you know, all the wiring and everything that's gonna require for that. So, all right, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, figured out the basic wiring for the potentiometer. And then I want to have room for the uh, for the 12 volt battery uh, to fit in, so I make it a little wider than that uh, for the switch and for the input jack. And then I'll figure the 9 volt battery compartment. And we're using the shallower. I think I might put it. I'm not sure. Probably like right there, so it'll go right through the back there, and then be sunk like right in there through there. Yeah, I'll do it like that, right there. And then I'll figure out the uh, wiring for that. The wiring go directly in there. So, so we'll get that going, and I'll see you in a bit. Update: I uh, drilled for the input jack, that for the pedometer, and I specially drilled it so I can accommodate for the other side the dremeling for the LED. Um, I figured out the switch. We're gonna go with the switch on the side there, and it's gonna sit in there like that. But then I'm gonna dremel, I'm gonna get the scroll saw and cut out a cavity for that, cavity for the uh, 12 volt uh, battery compartment and all the rest of the wiring. Then for the battery compartment, and I figured for the extra lip for the wires, and then I'll uh, wire that through on the other side, I'll figure all that out. But let me go ahead and get the uh, scroll saw cut uh, pre-drill uh, for the both compartments. I already got a hole there. And I'll see you when I get some progress there. Another quick update. I've got all the wiring complete, all the compartments completed. Pretty awesome. Let me show you everything real quick. All right, both pieces. We're ready for the glue phase, but I wanted to show you before I start gluing everything together. Uh, so 
you know, we got my uh, active pickup EMG potentiometer, and that goes in there. And then the switch, very cool. Got the room. Um, so it may be hard to do this one-handed, and <laughs> I'm cheating a little bit, but uh, it's able to get in there like that. And then the LED will be a click either way. And I might use the other click for something else in the future. And then there's enough room for the 12 volt battery housing right there. Um, and unfortunately, you're gonna have to unscrew. I'm just gonna put two screws and I'll probably make it square since everything else is square. Make square, square, everything square. Um, and then just be two screws to replace the 12 volt. And then got the nine volt battery compartment go right there. So we're ready for the glue phase. So let me glue these pieces together, sand everything, check everything again. Because once they're glued together, that's it. So I'll see when it gets progress down there. See you in a bit. All right, successful glue phase. Awesome. It's pretty good. Now I'll do the body filler on the sides, get all the gaps and everything else filled in. And then I'll take the screws out, of course, because uh, we're going to be drumming down after I make a border and everything like that. Well, we're probably not going to get to that today, but uh, I'd like to try to get the access panel plates done on the back, just two uh, square shaped, like I said, with that. And I'll see you in a little bit. Let me get some body filler on the sides. But yeah, we're good to go. It looks pretty awesome. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Another quick update. I guess the ugly face part one has been completed. <laughs> Very cool. I got all the Bondo body filler to fill in all the sides and all the continuity bits, of course. Very, very cool. All right, uh, running out of daylight. We've had about an hour and a half worth of work today left that we can do. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and we're going to do the drumbling tomorrow. Uh, or the next day, you know, whenever it's convenient, probably tomorrow. So let me go ahead and make uh, two square access panel plates, install them, countersink the screws, and then install the input jack with the screws and get that worked out. And it uh, looks very cool. Yeah, and I rounded, as you can see, I rounded the back bevel because that's going to be the bevel that's going to be exposed to the body. And the top, of course, we're going to have the uh, the piece of plexiglass that's going to have all the LEDs set in when I dremel down probably about two eighths of an inch down on the top you know minus the certain sections we'll get into that uh, and then that's very cool the uh, LED switch is going to be right there so when you're playing you can flick it forward and then the LEDs will go through the five zones one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Just a repeat of that. I can't wait to see that when I get all the LEDs and everything. So, all right, let me go work on the back access panel plates. Like I said, we're gonna make two squares. We're gonna use the regular black pickguard material scraps that I got and go ahead and work that and I'll see you in a bit. Another quick update. I've got all the cavity covers installed and the battery compartment and the input jack installed. So we're good to go. Screws are countersunk. Uh, the covers here are countersunk. Uh, this one didn't need to be countersunk, although I could theoretically countersink, but nah, it's okay because the uh, the uh, back cover plate or the uh, the neck pocket, the neck plate isn't going to be countersunk, and neither is the input jack, so that's fine. So we are good to go. Uh, next step is going to be to start working on the neck and the fretboard. Do all the fret work and then do a full on string test. And then I still gotta order all the LEDs. So when I get that going, yeah, I'd like to do a string test with the LEDs, but that's gonna be a whole nother thing in itself. Cause, uh, well, just briefly, uh, I'm gonna make a border, probably about two centimeters or so, and then Dremel down probably about two eighths. Uh, there'll be a cavity, a square cavity here. And I'm not going to dremel, and then I'm not going to dremel where I circle, but there will be a border around everything, even the neck. There's going to be a dremel or a border. Dremel down, and then that's where the LEDs are going to go. So we'll figure all that out, but yeah, pretty cool. All right, Ooh, we're running out of time, so all right. So let me clean up my extensive uh, mess here, and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, very cool. 
can't wait to do a string test, see how we did as far as all the measurements, but I think everything is dead on center. So we'll see, we'll get we'll get to that tomorrow. But yeah, I'm tired. Whew. Clean up all my mess and we will see you soon. Morning 25th of October 2023. It's time to continue work on the light up random star electric guitar build. And as you can see, it's that time again. Time to do some fret work. All right. And uh, got the fret. Gonna straighten the neck and then address these fret ends. Make them nice and round and perfect. Uh, checking out this nut and see if it's uh, acceptable. I might change it with a, a bone nut or a black Tortex. Tor, uh, you know, something self-lubricating. But for now, for the string test, it might be fine. I might replace it with some other better nuts that I have on hand. But I'll have to order one specific, and I think I'll order a black one. That way it'll match everything perfectly. But all right, like I said, first step's going to be to straighten the neck. And then go ahead and address the fret ends. And then we're going to start the fret work process. Uh, all kinds of fun happening today. So we'll see in a little bit. All right, guys, fret ends completely rounded and smooth and feeling awesome. I always like to put a little extra round edge on the side of the fretboard. That way, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that way it'll play like butter. All right, next step is going to be uh, to make sure the neck is still straight, which it should be. And go ahead and tape off the frets. And then we're going to go ahead and put a level crown and polish. As usual, we're going to go with the usual sandpapers from 800 to 10,000 grit sandpapers. And uh, we'll see when I get a little more progress done. See you in a bit. Okay, real quick. If it'll focus for me. There we go. You see what I mean by rounding the edges? Minimal fret marks as possible. All right, see in a bit. All right, got the frets taped up, marked up. Make sure the neck is completely straight. Got some fresh 20 grit sandpaper on my leveling beam. Go ahead and put a level on all the frets, and then I'll go through with my rocker arm and check it and make sure my work is perfect. And we'll see when it gets progress done. See in a bit. All right, perfect level on all the crown. Uh, Put a level on all the frets. Now it's time to go ahead and get to my crown. I'm gonna go with my uh, Z Mac, uh, Stu Mac rather, Z center file uh, crowning file. I already went through with all the rocker arm and I'm gonna remark them, put a nice crown on there, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, now quick update all the frets have been perfectly crowned, and let's see if it'll focus for me. All the top lines where I crowned on both sides is very consistent with each other and it looks amazing i guess after doing these uh doing f hundreds of fret jobs i mean you get kind of good at it with the tools and everything it is a definite learned process i recommend everybody try to do it and not take it to a luthier because that's how i got into doing my own fret work because i used to take it to luthiers and have to drive an hour and a half one way so a three hour trip just to take the guitar neck to somebody or the guitar to somebody to work on it and they would always do shoddy work crappy work you pay them two three hundred dollars they leave dings on your stuff i mean they just don't have the love and attention to detail especially when you take it to like a major chain music store because they've got hundreds of guitars that they do the fret work on so to you you're not really a personal thing you're just another number and another you know and i've seen some of the guys that work at some of those places and they just have no work ethic at all so i mean not to you know to kind of go on on a tangent or anything but that's how i i'm kind of glad that that happened because that's how i got into doing this and anybody could do it it just takes a little bit of a work ethic a certain level of tools that you have to get just basic tools straight edge you know some crowning files whether it be at a center z file um these run about 150 bucks on uh, stumac each so but i've had these two for forever and you know that got the the uh, diamond tip uh powder inside there it doesn't wear out anyway I'm, I'm rambling so all right next step is going to go through my sandpaper and this is the way that i do the frets i mean other people do it all a bunch of different ways uh i see people do it like the you know just get a dremel tool and get some polish and polish them up that way but that doesn't really round the frets and doesn't make it look perfect so what I do is I go through all from 800 to 10,000 grit sandpapers working my way through. And uh, this process takes about two hours, but at the other end, it just looks amazing. So we'll see when I get some of that done. And uh, we'll see you a little bit. All right, all frets have been leveled, crowned, and polished, and they are looking amazing. Oh, yeah. I love it when I transform the frets. All right, next step is going to be to clean up all my mess and then start uh, figuring out if I'm going to... Uh, Replace the nut. I might leave this nut if it's if it's good enough. It's not extremely high, 
because some of these nuts that come on these uh, necks are extremely high. But uh, clean up all my fret dust and everything like that, and we'll see it when I do all that. See you in a bit. I got everything cleaned up and looking good. Oh yeah, love that step. Frets look amazing, and I've determined that this nut is going to be good enough. <laughs> the nuts are good. <laughs> I never thought I'd heard that. Probably thought, never thought I'd say that, right? The nut is good. Nuts are good. Yeah, it's nuts good enough for a string test. So I'm going to go ahead and install the tuning keys. And let me get that done, and we'll see you in a bit. Tuning keys installed. It's looking pretty awesome. I'm <laughs> loving the three on the side. Oh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. All right, let's get the body back out and get the bridge back installed. And I'll probably glue in the bridge. I always like to glue in the bridge at this point. So we'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna, I decided I'm going to glue in the uh, bridge posts just to make sure they're extra uh, sturdy and stay where I want them to stay. I mean, they're pretty tight already, but I want to make sure that they stay perfectly sound all through the process. And I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, ground wire for the bridge post and feed it through. And I'll see you in a bit. I drew around the, the bridge and the pickup where I'm going to do the dremeling and then I'll figure all the rest of that out. But um, I'm going to go ahead, I installed the ground wire for the, uh, the post there. So I got it right on the edge, makes contact with the one post, and that's grounding issues. That way there will be no cycle hum once everything is installed. So let me go ahead and glue in the posts, and I'll see you in a bit. Got perfect installation of the bridge. We got it mounted, and I think this is going to be perfect. We're not going to have any flexing. Usually bridges sometimes tend to flex forward. I don't think it's going to do it on this bridge, but we'll never know. We'll see later. <laughs> Alright, so time to install the neck back to the body, and I'll see you when I get the front. See you in a bit. Perfect installation of the neck to the body. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it looks amazing. I love it. Very cool. Love that. It's this random star shape. That is such a killer, iconic shape. Alright, next step's going to be to put on some, uh, put on my two E-strings and see how everything lined up and see how good we are and get all that dialed in, and we'll see you in a bit. Perfect insulation of strings. I got everything dialed in the center, and I think we're so far we're really good on the intonation line. Uh, next step is going to be let me go ahead and install the tune or the uh, the strap buttons. We're going to go with the usual Dunlop strapping lock buttons, um, and let me go consult my other two random star shapes. But I'm guessing somewhere in this vicinity. And then on the back of the neck plate, but we'll get that going and I'll see when I get that done. But yeah, that looks very cool. The strings. It's a relatively light body, I mean, considering. But very cool. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging the shape with the headstock shape. That that combination really does go together well. And that's what the the new Eddie Van Halen's the, the headstock just a slight bit different on the top, but other than that, it's basically the same. But yeah, that's what I based it on, but very cool. All right, let me work on that, and I'll see you in a little while. Perfect installation of the strap buttons. I decided to go with one right there. That way it's not in the way of anything. And then, of course, all as usual on the back of the neck plate. And it looks pretty good. I had the strap. I had the strap on. Yeah, I put on the strap on. Yeah. You know, uh, that's how I roll with the strap on. Anyway, just, just kidding. But uh, let me go ahead and get everything up to pitch, clean up my mess, and then we'll do a full-on string test. All right, fingers crossed it all goes well. We'll see you in a little while. Let me show you how it hangs on the strap. Very cool. I got the basic setup and intonation done. And we'll strum out some chords for you. Very resonant, this body is. Of course, brand new strings, so they're going to stretch a little bit. Listen to that. so powerful wow I'm loving that Show you how it looks when you're sitting with it. Just 
just like a t typical random star. I mean, it's fairly uh, not common, but not unique shape by no means. But I was thinking about this. Uh, I'm into this less than $300 so far. And that's going to be included with all the LEDs. I mean, I don't know how long as far as, you know, creation and luthering and all that other kind of thing. But I want to show you how out of touch the modern day uh, guitar makers are. Like the, uh, this is a version of the uh, Eddie Van Halen Random Star Guitar. And if you look it up, uh, they're going for anywhere from three to $7,000. And I know the woods are probably different and everything like that, and maybe different component parts, but I mean, I could see selling this guitar with the LEDs and everything like that for about a thousand, twelve hundred bucks. I mean, compared to what they're charging, I mean, and this is a custom handmade guitar. It's not going to be like a cookie cutter. I don't know why I'm ranting to him. <laughs> Seems like I'm ranting today, but just out of touch, Gibson, Fender. All these these companies that just charge these outrageous prices for these guitars and it really puts it out of touch out of reach for the average consumer I mean people don't have disposable income of three to five thousand dollars for a guitar I mean you can barely afford to eat you know pay rent but anyway I digress definitely a shredder neck Let's settle for a couple days, make sure any shifting, and it has any shifting to do. Which I don't really foresee too much shifting. I mean, these purses are pretty, pretty standard. The, uh, I do like these bridges, but every now and then they tend to kind of bend upward, which, uh, you know, you have to kind of tweak every now and then. But wow, that just sounds... My fingers are so dry. <laughs> Anyway, it just sounds so good. <laughs> Next step is going to be the Dremel out for the LED displays. And I'm going to Dremel down, take out the screws and then Dremel down and then create the piece of plexiglass with all the different 
sections and it's going to go with the five sections probably about one two three four and five so the led light up is going to be boom 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 in that pattern five successive zones and as you recall we put the switch right there so just pop it turn it on and when you want to turn it off turn it off and the emg active pickup so it's going to be a real I love that headstock shape though. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you the back again. And this can go with progress on this one for a day or two. Get to let it settle, make sure I don't have to shim it or anything like that. Because if I did have to shim it, I want to make sure I compensate for the shim on the neck pocket so everything looks perfect. And uh, we'll continue work on the Tasmanian Devil electric guitar build while this is. So we got plenty to do. And then we still got to wait, waiting for the paint to dry on the Pete and Calvin guitar. We just completed the ET guitar. So thanks again for following and watching. Sorry about the rants about the uh, guitar companies. It's just I see some of the prices that they charge, and it's just wow. Wow, I love the way the way it feels and the, the aerodynamics of this guitar. Because the way it sits in the lap, it's just <laughs> Strings are still stretching, but they're they're holding true. You can access all the higher frets with these. But thanks again. All right, and we'll continue work on the random star light up LED guitar. That's gonna be so wickedly bad. So, all right, we'll see you soon. Good morning, October twenty sixth. It's the next day, and everything, nothing settled at all. It's just perfect. Nothing really moved, so we are good to go. It's got finished jamming on it and playing on it. Oh man, this guitar is just amazing. I love it. All right, so the next step's going to be to do the Dremel bits on the front. And so I've decided that we're good to go as far as the shim for now, and I can always shim it later, and I think it won't be that, that noticeable if I had the shim, the small shim. So I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle everything, and then we're gonna start working out where we're gonna Dremel and figuring out the LED situation. So it's gonna be very cool. So, all right, so let me get that going and we'll see when I get some progress there. Get everything taken apart, put neat together in bags. All right, time to draw out the border. And I'm gonna figure that out and I'll see when I get some progress on that. All right, I put a line for the border and for all my other bits. And I figured out an exact depth line. So this is how deep I'm gonna dremel inside the border. And that's how thin the border is going to be around the edge and the Luan or the uh, plexiglass will fit on top. And then I plan on putting a few screws here and there. Of course, I could decide just to glue it in. I'm not sure though. I think I probably want access to it because I could always super glue it in on the border. But that might affect the, the paint on the back. Yeah, so I think I'm going to put some screws in here like, uh, you know, some real small uh same type screws that go inside the uh the pickup ring uh here and there to kind of lock it in maybe one two three four five and six screws total just to kind of lock it in and that way i can take it away you know take it off if i have to replace any leds but let me go ahead and put a far, uh, fresh blade on my exacto blade and let me go ahead and trace a deep groove on all my lines and then we'll go ready to go outside and do some dremeling all right we'll see you in a bit all 
All right, finish carefully carving. You know, you gotta be very careful with the tools. You don't wanna lose any fingers or get any cuts. I have to go to the ER or anything. So you gotta, you gotta be mindful of your tools. You gotta be very careful of what they're capable of. So you go slow and steady. So I make sure I don't cut myself. I don't wanna get, cut my finger open and have to go to the ER or anything and lose the tendon or something. So you gotta be very careful. But yeah, I put a very deep cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and move everything outside. I specifically bought this Dremel bit for this particular job, so hopefully this will work well for me. So we'll move everything outside and we'll see in a little bit. I got everything moved outside, got my proper Dremel bit to the depth that I need. I did a pre-cut depth judging on the LEDs and my test piece. So let me go ahead and slowly, carefully Dremel out all the bits. We'll see when I get some progress done. Fingers crossed it goes smooth. See you in a bit. It's been a couple hours later, at least it's probably been about three hours and successful Dremel. Oh man, that was a, quite an undertaking, <laughs> but I got it done perfect. Yeah, and I think that's going to be plenty enough room for the LED uh, display to go underneath there. Very cool. Next step is to go up to my local Lowe's and go ahead and get a piece of. Uh, plexiglass um, certain thickness I think 0 0.008 thick and that'll be perfect and then it'll cut out the shape of the full body and then I'll cut out where the pickups gonna go and uh, where the posts are gonna go and where the hole is gonna go and all the rest is gonna be pretty much flat so it's gonna be very cool and then we'll start spacing out where the LEDs are gonna go and the sections but yeah, that turned out really good. Like I said, that was a lot of work. But I think that's deep enough to account for, like I said, the LED panel. So very cool. All right, so let me head up to Lowe's and get what I need. And we will see you later on. See you in a little bit. Back from Lowe's, I got some really good quality. Uh, $40 for this sheet is kind of pricey, but I think it's gonna work good. So. It's outstanding that says it on the package. See how thick it is. So let me go ahead and trace out the uh, shape of the body. And the good thing about the size, I think I can cut too. So if I mess up, I got a second attempt and then I can always do another guitar explorer or some other shape. But all right, so let me figure this out and I'll see you in a bit. All right, marked out the shape. I got the scroll saw, get that queued up. And let's cut, see if we can cut this. Hopefully it goes well, fingers crossed. We got, I think we can do two more actually, but if we need to, all right, we'll see in a bit. All right, considerably a, a few hours later, <laughs> we have successfully cut the, uh, the plastic uh, top for the LEDs. Very cool. Ooh. And I use the orbital sander to get all the edges exactly perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's got the, uh, the you know, the uh, protective coating on the top and the back. And I'll probably leave that, the top on there until I get ready to install it. But I'll have to take off the back to be able to trace out where the, uh, you know, the, uh, what you call it, the border is. So I know where the LED schematic pattern is going to be but yeah we're not going to tackle that today this will be it for today we got quite a bit done that looks uh, awesome and uh <laughs> theoretically i could spray the you know the mirror uh i'm gonna i'm gonna spray the mirror material on the back side of it where you know the L before i install the leds because that'll have to be done before the leds are installed so very cool all right and i'll clean up my extensive mess and then I might do another video inside, but yeah, the uh, the plexiglass top has been installed, completed, so very cool. And I uh, just mounted the uh, the pickup or the uh, potentiometer just to hold it down. So I, when I you know orbital sandered it around, so whew, I'm tired. That was a lot of work today, but we got a lot done. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Let me uh, take out the uh, potentiometer. Be right back. All right, one more final update. I'm on the inside of the house, got everything cleaned up. Whew, it's been a long day, but we've got a lot accomplished today. Wow, that just looks so cool, so cool. And I'll do the wood grain filler phase on the body wood, of course. 
the ugly face part too. But uh, the uh, inside bit and the uh, the plexiglass. So, as you recall, the plexiglass is gonna be. I'm gonna stagger the holes, and we're gonna do the LEDs just like that in the plexiglass. So, I'm gonna draw a border around it, and then figure out exactly where all the different zones are. And I've got the zones already marked out on my template in the other room. I'll show you that. But yeah, for today, this is all good progress. Let me hurry up. Uh, I'll take off the uh, pedometer, and I'll show you both the inside cavity again with the uh, the plexiglass sheet. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, took out the pedometer. As you recall, we did the inside cavity. That looks really cool. And I think there's gonna be plenty of room for the LEDs and for the wires. And then once I get everything staggered on the uh, piece of plastic or the uh, plexiglass, yeah, I will install it and I'll probably do a, a full-on LED test prior to uh, starting to paint the body of the guitar. But yeah, very cool. <laughs> I think this is going to work out really cool. And I think the thickness is comparable to the pickguard material thickness. So that's going to work pretty good. And I'll try to put the LEDs, uh, I'll get the spacing exactly perfect. This was just the test. The test for the lights. And I'll try to get all the wiring dialed in perfectly as well. But I want the uh, LEDs to pop out the same length throughout so it's going to be uniform. And like I said, the zones, it'll start from like right here. Two, three, or one, two, three, four, you know, five zones equal spaced. And then it'll light up the LEDs. Boom, boom, boom. Very cool. <laughs> all right. We got a lot accomplished today. I'm happy with the progress. Um, very cool. Uh, we'll start the LED process uh, probably tomorrow. Whew. Tell you what, it's been a long day, but I think it's going to be uh, so amazing once this gets going. And like I said, I'm going to uh, spray paint the back bottom side of the plexiglass, the mirror effect, and that'll make it look just like a mirror, you know, just like the mirror. And it'll shine the lights as well. So when it goes through all the, the zones, it'll just it'll just be amazing. So, all right, this will conclude progress today on the light up random star electric guitar. Whew. Oh, good progress, good progress. All right, and we'll see you soon. All right, still 26th and still continuing work on the light up random star electric guitar. I get went ahead uh, and glued together or uh, taped together four pieces of regular blank paper and I drew me a grid. This is gonna be the LEDs. Uh, in between each square is three centimeters or three three notches on my straight edge and so I made so everywhere where it crosses is going to be an LED so I'm going to use this on the uh, the body uh, the, uh, the plexiglass so this way I can figure out exactly the LED spacings exactly so let me get the body out and uh, I'm going to have to remove the uh, back coating and then figure out the border and I'll see you in a little bit. Perfect, I peeled the back uh, plastic. I got the top plastic still intact. Um, so this way I can trace out, I'm gonna trace out on the top, on the top plastic so it doesn't go through with a thin point magic marker, just the border. And that way I'm gonna know where the LEDs should be. And then uh, um, if you recall on the original template, I made the uh, the five zones. So these are going to be the zones, like zone one, two, three, four, and five. So those are going to be what lights up. Um, you know, it's going to light up that zone, that zone, that you know, and it's going to go from left or right to left, right to left. So once I figure out the zones and where all my borders are, then I'll go through and I'll trace out the grid where each individual LED is going to go. So let me uh, go ahead and trace out where all the border is and all the other things and I'll be right back. All right, I traced out from the body the border and then this is the zones. I just traced the zones for, so here's what the, it's hard to see with that. Uh, one sec, let's see if I can do this one handed. Perfect. So these are the zones. Let me go ahead and apply the uh, underneath the LED uh, pattern and I'll be right back. Right back. Alright, I think this is a pretty good matchup. 
I'm going to perfect it before I commit. Um, and then around the edges of things, I got to figure that out. But the ballpark ones outside the edges, start making some dots for where the LEDs are exactly going to go. All right, let me do that. And I'll All right, got everything marked out. Wow, that's a lot of LEDs. Every one of those dots is going to be LED light. So I'm going to have to count how many I need and order the appropriate. I still probably got about a hundred or so. Probably going to need about triple that. So um, this probably conclude progress for today because I'll start fresh tomorrow and figuring out exactly the, the width or the exact perfect uh, hole. Um, I use this one, this drill bit for the other one, but I might use the Dremel tool because it's a little bit more accurate and I can adjust the speed um, and then find a Dremel bit that'll perfectly fit one of the LEDs. Um, as you recall, uh, when I did the uh, the test on these LEDs, maybe I'll be able to save a few of these LEDs, but I got them all soldered in there. That's why I got to do the spray paint before um, the mirror paint on the back side of this uh, plastic before I actually install the LEDs. That way, you know, it'll have the mirror finish underneath. But yeah, there you go. Whew. So let's see. Let me put that um, back on the body and let's see how it looks. One second. All right, there it is on the body. So that's where the individual LED lights are going to go. Like I said, every one of those dots. Going to carefully drill out the exact uh, dimension that I need for the each LED. And then I want to push each LED out exactly the same amount so it's completely you know level with each other. That's going to be really cool. This is a complete experiment. This is just an idea that I had. Um, and it's it's working out so good so far. So, you know, so far so good. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, that's going to be so cool. Each individual LED. Just hope I can get it wired correctly. And then... Oh, I got to make a hole through the body to the wood to the, you know, the potentiometer, you know, the hole in the back. That way that'll be the main channel where all the wires go through. So, and then, uh, whew, man, I tell you what, if I can pull this off, it's going to be very killer. So, fingers crossed on this one, we'll be able to do it. So, I think, I think we should be able to do it. So, and then once I get everything going... I'm gonna, once I get all the LEDs, as far as attaching the plastic to the body, I'm gonna use the uh, the pickup ring screws, really thin screws, and I'm gonna go, you know, every, like right on the edge there, every probably four or five inches. Just have a screw that's not anywhere, in, you know, in the way of an LED, maybe in the gaps. So that'd be pretty cool. Like a screw there, like a screw there, maybe a screw right there, a screw there screw there you know what I mean that way it'll hold it to there and the uh, the bridge cell the pickup ring will that'll hold the center part and then the you know potentiometer when that's screwed in there that'll hold it there so I won't need too many screws I might go every I don't know seven eight inches or so just like like one there um, probably one close to here so maybe you know keep that flat down but yeah that's basically basically it and that'll be progress for today very cool a lot of leds let me count these leds and see how many and i've got to experiment hopefully it's a three 12 volt battery but it's 12 volt system but the output to the leds is only three volts and i'm not sure um i put seven on each led there and this is going to be considerably more per zone so i'll have to test with that and make sure that the leds have enough three volts is enough current to light up each zone. I'll we'll have to figure out exactly how much LED, how many LEDs in each zone. But all right, hope everybody's having a good night. I know it's kind of a, a brain tease, a boggle uh, accomplishing this, but I think it can be done. So, all right, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll continue work on this one. See you then. All right, just one more quick update. I did all the math and these are, I counted every LED, believe it or not. And these are the zones. Uh, 65 in that zone, 205, 190, 238, and 69. So, total of 767 individual LEDs. And I probably got 100, so I got to 
buy, uh, they come in 100, packs of 100, so I've got to buy seven more packs. Hopefully they have them. But uh, we'll worry about that <laughs> uh, tomorrow. So I just wanted to show you the numbers, and we'll see you tomorrow. Just a quick update. This is 33 LED lights on 3 volts. <laughs> it's very bright. Very cool. So I just wanted to do a test. I linked all of them together to come up to that one circuit. But yeah, I wanted to see how many LEDs. Um, the color hasn't, or the brightness hasn't dropped at all between 1 and 33. So I think we'll be able to get 200 per zone without any issue at all. Wow, that's cool. Don't feel like they're heating up at all. I guess there's a little, you can feel just a slight temperature not really at all but yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> got it all right i'll see you in a bit good morning 27th of october 2023 on this beautiful central florida day it's feeling awesome nice and cool ah time to continue work i'm gonna start cutting out all these individual holes uh here's the led diode and I want to make it just tight enough where it's nice and snug to fit in there. And I'll show you that. And these uh, have the little capacitor, but I'm going to be cutting out the capacitor. Because I'm just using 3 volts. These are for 12 volts originally. So I cut out the capacitor and then link them together. I'll show you all that. And I was thinking about doing, I've got probably on hand, I've got probably about 100 LEDs. I'm going to order 800 more. I'm thinking about with the 100 I have, just doing sections to where... I'll put like, uh, I don't know, 20, I guess, 20 in each section, 20 LEDs, and just to get a gist and then wire it up and everything and then use the switch and just to see how it flows. I think I might do that, like just 20, you know, just 20 somewhere, but we'll see. I'm not sure exactly, but let me start putting the holes <laughs> in the sheet there and I'll see you when it gets progress done. All right, a little progress update. I'm about halfway, a little bit more than halfway. It was definitely a learning curve. There are a couple that might need a drop of uh, hot glue. Just a couple, there's maybe three or four. I was attempting to use a different method at first. I was using this other bit, but I've decided that the best way to do it is to do the proper drill bit and then ream out the back just hair and the LEDs fit perfectly. So yeah, you can see these ones back here just a little bit rougher than these ones are really perfect yeah so it's always a learning curve especially when you <laughs> never done this before <laughs> so all right let me finish the leds and i gotta order the rest of the leds um you can order it on the in a couple days they'll be here so uh yeah i might i've got like i said i've got about 100 leds so i might go two uh maybe two I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll, maybe I'll do a, a little bit of a test prior to the LEDs coming with the LEDs that I've got and see how that might work. But all right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, quite some time later. A quick update. Perfectly drilled all the LED openings. Very cool. That looks amazing. That was a lot of work, but it's so worth it. All right. Since how I have about 100 LEDs on hand, the only thing I'm a little, little kind of worried about, maybe, I don't know, is I'm not sure how this will react to heat. I've got a spare piece. I've got plenty of spare pieces, but I'm going to do a uh, wire a few LEDs on here and solder it in um, and see how this uh, material takes to heat. I don't think it necessarily be a problem as long as I don't get the, the soldering iron too, too close to it. So, and then I might do like, you know, 10 or 15 per zone. Maybe I can stagger it and then, you know, it'll kind of like do like an arrow, two, three, you know, you know what I mean? Just as a test. Start some up here, down here, down here, down here, and then, you know, kind of like a whoop, kind of like an arrow through and then hook up the switch and everything and then see how that goes. So I might do that. Let me figure it out and I'll be back in a bit. I got all my tools out. Let's put some LEDs in there and hook up the switch and everything like that. I'm going to probably, excuse me, put about 15. All right, got all my parts out here. All right, you ready for the big reveal? I've only put like about 
12 to 10 LEDs per section. And of course, you know, there's five sections. And I decided to go from left to right, but here we go. <laughs> Very cool. And like I said, there's only 12 or 10 to 12 lights per LED. Just imagine when all the holes are filled with LEDs. I mean, it's super bright. I got it a little bit dark in the room now, but wow, that's cool. And I got the sections marked off. And of course, I'll spray paint the plexiglass, that mirror effect. So it'll look like a mirror facing this direction. I'm going to spray paint it on the back. If there's a spray paint you can buy where you can make, you know, you can make mirrors. Um, and that's what I'll do on the back of this plastic. So all the light will even reflect even further. So it'll be a mirror finish. But very cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, all that whole that section, every section will be lit up completely. But wow, that the LEDs look like, you know, hopefully all those LEDs on one section will still be as bright. I don't think each LED takes that much away from the current, so. All right, this will conclude progress. Oh, that was quite a long process to uh, drill out all those holes, but very cool. All right, hope everybody's having a good day, and we will see you soon. The random star LED, and even with the light on, let me show you. It's still really bright. Very cool. And the on off switch is there, of course. And I'm thinking about doing one position where you flick it and then I'll have LEDs behind the pickup really bright. And it'll just show in the one position. But we'll get to that. All right, we'll see you soon. Good morning. It's 28th of October 2023. Time to continue work on the Random Star Light Up Guitar. And you remember yesterday where I configured it going from uh, left to right. Uh, Ace Frehley's goes from right from the front of the headstock to the back of the guitar. And I couldn't really decide which way I wanted to go. So you know what? I decided let's go both ways. So I hooked it up to the switch. I was going to use the top position to light up uh, it's maybe some LEDs I was thinking from behind because you know I've got the switch that has two positions well three actually uh, um, one position two positions and then an off position um, so I figured why not do it to where the LEDs will travel like a you know set up the switch to go you know on the body when you flick it in the back position that way it goes from the front to the back and then the center it's uh, neutral and then in the front position, it goes from left to right. So that'll be a very cool step. Can't wait to get the LEDs and the uh, painted so you can't see all the wires and everything like that. But um, yeah, very cool. Uh, can't wait to start working on the LEDs. Like I said, uh, it's got to wait for the parts to come. So, all right, and I got a lot of body work to do. Got to do the ugly face part too and all that other stuff. Just wanted to update you on that. I think that's going to be a very cool, actually, rendition. That is so killer. Wow. And I bet that if there, if I had a different toggle, you know, a different switch for future builds, maybe more than a two-part switch, I may be able to maybe do a flashing circuit or, you know, infinite possibilities. But, yeah, for right now, it's got the two things that it does from the front to back and then from the back to the front. So that's very cool. All right. I <laughs> hope everybody's having a good weekend. Doing a little bit of an experiment I uh, did all the rest of my LEDs and I went and put it on the first zone very cool Just wanted to see how it would look very cool though yeah I think this battery is kind of dying 3 volt battery but yeah awesome okay. I just wanted to show you how it looks as compared to the body when it's on the zone very cool all right let's conclude progress for today I gotta clean up the mess I got stuff to do today but yeah very cool Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Still pretty bright. Good morning, how's everybody doing? It's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. It's 29th of October 2023. Time to continue work on the light up random star electric guitar build. Time for the ugly face part two. Let me get the wood grain filler while I'm waiting on the LEDs and the other parts to come. I'm gonna do the back and sides only. I'm gonna get to do the front because that's gonna be covered. So let me mix up a fresh batch of the plastic wood, wood filler that I love to use and we'll get about 
three, four layers on there, and then we'll sand it smooth and maybe get on the hanger and get some primer coats and start the process of turning this body into awesome. We're gonna be using metallic silver paint, so it's gonna be really cool. And we're gonna also put some on the front of the headstock, so yeah. All right, we'll see you in a little while. Another quick update, ugly face part two is in full effect. And she's looking ugly, but perfectly ugly. <laughs> yeah, awesome. All right, next step is me to set up everything outside and do some sanding and make it look perfect. And then we'll go with some, uh, put it on the hanger and go with some white flat spray paint or uh, primer, white flat primer. Very cool. And of course, we'll make everything awesome. All the edges perfect. And we will see when we get everything set up outside. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Cool. Alright, got the neck perfectly taped off. Time to go apply some primer. Alright, apply some flat white primer and we'll see in a bit. Cool. Alright, successful application of primer coats on the headstock. Very cool. And successful application of the primer and sanding of the body. And I'll let this dry for a day or two. And then I'll go ahead and sand it and then apply probably another round of base color paint or a primer coat. That way I get smooth, really smooth finish. Looking to make a really perfect finish. And it's going to be metallic silver, of course. But all right. And this will conclude progress for today. And we'll see you next time. See you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Continuing progress on the Ninja Star Light Up Electric Guitar Build. Or the light up ninja star electric guitar build uh made some decisions and made a couple changes i think it's going to turn out really really cool um i finished the first layers of primer coats on the back and sides and it looks really good and i've sanded it and tried to perfect it as best as possible to give it a very cool finish um i've decided i want to go i'll have to show you in the other room uh, with the acrylic uh, piece that has the LEDs, I want to keep it clear. Um, so I'm going to, after I sand this, I've got the touch up on the inside because this is going to be somewhat visible. Not really because of the LEDs and all the wiring that goes with the LEDs. Not necessarily the wiring, but the connections. I'll have to show you that in a sec. But uh, I'm touching up the insides to make the insides perfect. And once I'm going to sand all this nice and flat and perfect as possible, then I'm going to spray paint all the whole body uh, metallic silver so it's going to be very cool so and uh let me go in the other room and uh, excuse me i'll show you the progress on the leds i still ordered i got 700 on the way actually 800 on the way leds individual um i've been working with that for a while and i can figure something completely different well not completely different but different i'll show you so let me go to the other room and i'll explain all right, in the other room. All right, the original idea was to go with the, well, I was going to refine the wires, but the LEDs connected like such. Um, and I found the wires too bulky. Um, I did order some other LEDs. These are like hot, um, really kind of bright, but they're a little bit bluer color. But this is basically the wiring that I came up with. I'll show you on the actual LED. I've got the first zone complete. <laughs> it looks pretty amazing. But I'll show you that. So see how it's streamlined? And I'm using the copper wire to connect. So it's very cool. It looks very aesthetic and very cool. Um, originally, the original idea was to color the uh, back of the, uh, the acrylic piece a mirror finish. And I did specifically get this mirror effect paint. But after doing some experimenting with it... Um, Closest I can get, see, it's not even a mirror at all. Um, I think, well, it's a little reflective, but I think it's because this is acrylic and not glass or maybe out. I, I tried every permutation that I could to try to figure out how to, see, this one turned out really bad. Um, how to figure out how to get it to look like a mirror. I had another piece over here I was messing with. I don't know where it went, but oh, here it is. Um, the closest I was able to get was this section, hold on a second, section right here. And see how it's, it turned out somewhat mirror-like, but it was just really inconsistent. And 
You know, I've tried all over the place experimenting. So you spray one side, five layers, light layers, and then it's supposed to be a mirror, but it just wasn't working out for me. So I decided to ditch that idea. I know this is $15, $16 for a six ounce can, which is kind of pricey, but you know, I'll use that for another project. Um, but I think when it's clear like that, like I showed you with the body in the other room and metallic silver, and it's gonna look really cool. Let me show you so far what the, uh, yeah, the zone one. Very cool, and like I said, I'm going to leave it clear. It's still got the protective uh, coating, uh, the plastic on the outside, and I'll peel all that off, of course, and it'll look brand new. But, and then the connector wires being white and black, I'll do the connecting wires with each of the zones, and I still got the zones marked off with the, uh, the top, you know, plastic. That's marked with the marker, the black. So the zones, you know, if you could see the zones. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, those are the different zones. And once the LEDs come in, I'll get all that uh, situated. But yeah, that turned out really, really cool, the uh, the LED situation. And see, I've got connected like that. Um, let me hook it up to the circuit, and I'll show you how it looks when everything's lit up. But yeah, uh, these are the, the, they come in a packet. This came in 120, and that was this one right here. And I like these ones, but they were a little too short. They did uh, have like 120 degree, uh, you know, light goes 120 degrees to where these ones were like a little bit longer, but it worked into my system to where the way I drill the holes, they come through and they poke through and that way I can tie it all in together. And I think that's going to be perfect. And with the, uh, the silver on the border, of the wood on the you know the body of the guitar it's going to give it a really cool border effect and that's going to be of course silver and silver so it's going to be really cool but uh yeah i mean today i'm going to work on finishing up the uh inside getting that perfect and then spray and this is uh, the paint i'm going to use on the body and the uh inside everything like that and the headstock from the headstock got the headstock over there but the metallic silver gloss and I'll probably put 2K over the top of that. So it'll give it a very cool, let's see if I've got, I think I've got a silver, I think I got two silver guitars, yeah. That one right there, the mirror one. Let's see if there's one that's more accessible. I thought I had another silver one, but uh, the silver paint is gonna look really cool. I thought I had more than one, but yeah. Oh, it's on, it's out there. It's the Michael Badio rocket. That's what I used, the metallic silver. But the body of the guitar is going to more or less look like that. High gloss metallic silver. So that's going to be very cool. Yeah, this is the one mirror, perfect mirror guitar that I did that turned out really cool. I'll have to do more of those. I've got more of those planned. I found that material that's very cool. But anyway, kind of a long-winded explanation here, but I just want to show you what I've been up to. So let me go ahead and hook it up on the circuit. And I ordered these circuits specifically for five zones. Uh, originally, they came with 10 zones, but I ordered it with five zones specifically to this company. I'll have to share the company information, but they're very cool. So let me go ahead and hook that up, and I'll show you one sec. All right, got it hooked up to the circuit, and that's just the one zone. Oh, it looks so good on camera. And it's really bright so and that's 70 leds on that one zone so i think this zone has 200 something this home one has 186 i got it written down in the other room but yeah these different zones and i've got on a 12 volt battery that's very cool and the circuit and if you remember from my past videos i'm going to have it with the two circuits so it's going to go from uh, left to right and then right to left on the switch so i'll figure i'll show you all of that but yeah very cool so let me continue work on the the body and get that perfect and get that spray painted today and then when the other leds come in start working on that and you know it's a long long process with this one but i think the end result is going to be so cool and i like the fact that you can see through slightly see the wires it gives it like a real industrial look and uh like i said when the silver border parts from the body it's just going to be so sweet but all right, so let me work on the body in a bit, and I'll see when I get some progress done there. But I just wanted to show you the one zone complete. Very cool. <laughs> 
just something you know this whole concept i mean i seen that ace freely light up guitar and this is my own version i bet they do it completely different but this is what the way i figured it but all right we'll see you in a bit all right we're outside uh got the inner chamber looking pretty sweet really refined and looking awesome i'm gonna put on the hanger and blow it off again and we're ready for some silver first coat so primer silver coat or not primer and paint uh base coats of silver and i'll sand this layer if i need to because we've got a long way to go with the led so we can make this as perfect as possible and you're probably wondering why didn't i tape up the uh, bushings for the bridge uh it's gonna be silver and you're really not gonna see it so it's gonna be covered so all right so let me get some uh, base colors of paint and fingers crossed it goes well like i said uh this is just the first base color so we'll sand if necessary and then go with another layer and then you know make it work perfect but yeah it's coming turning out really cool i'm liking the way the direction we went with it so all right put some paint on there and see you a bit. all right another quick update very cool successful application of the metallic silver on the headstock turned out really cool i don't want i don't want to bump it um want it to dry a little bit i just got done with that one and let me show you the body turned out very cool went perfect it doesn't happen too often it looks pretty awesome and like i said well i'll do a better video when i had some time to let this cure a little bit but the metallic silver turned out pretty awesome and it coated it great on the inside good enough for what we need yeah next time i do one i'll make sure i do the uh perfect the insides as well with the wood grain filler and all that but yeah We'll let this dry, of course, probably about a week or so. I know the light's not that great in here. And then we'll do some 2K clear coat over the back and the front of the headstock after I put the Raglan logo in black in the center. I decided I'm gonna go in the center with the logo and waiting on the LEDs to finish all the other zones. And you see once I peel the protective covering, it's gonna be clear and <laughs> that's gonna be so amazing. And like I said before, I'm going to do the attachments with screws, the uh, same screws we use for the pickup, uh, the uh, pick, uh, pickup ring. And I'll probably put a screw here, a screw there, and then countersink it um, every six inches or so in good spots. You know, out of the way of the LEDs, of course, nowhere near touching the... But yeah, that'll look cool. And the, uh, the uh, potentiometer will hold the plastic there and then the bridge will hold it and then the pickup ring screws the four screws will hold it so i think that'll be plenty of support as far as that goes and i might even put like a, a little bit more of a round edge once i install it on here that way it feels good to the touch yeah so we're getting there oh wow that turned out really good it's always stressful when you paint it was a fairly windy day today and luckily nothing got caught up in the finish at all i mean we got lucky so all right metallic silver very cool i'm glad we went, did decided not to go with the paint on the back side i think that would have i think the see-through it gives it that whole industrial vibe and it's going to be very cool when all the leds are installed so and i'm going to do a few more of these this shape different shapes i got an explorer on that coming and i might do like a i can do any any shape uh, if you have any if you watch this video at the end which probably not many of you do um you can go ahead and leave a comment of the 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 body shape that you think would look cool i want to do an explorer i want to do a strat body shape definitely want to do a ninja warrior shape my signature shape the ninja warrior as you recall we did a diamond plate we did a uh, rhinestone we did slimer green did the george lynch inspired we did the chrome blue of that shape and i've got another body cut underneath the uh the tasmanian devil guitar i'm just waiting on the neck for that but yeah very cool and then when i do the 2k clear coat for this one we'll do the 2k clear coat on the peen calvin because I don't want to waste a whole can because there's really not a whole lot to spray. I mean, I'll do like three, four layers, but then I'd be wasting a whole can in each can of the uh, 2K clear coat. It's about $20, 30 $25, $22. I get it for a pretty good deal. 
I buy it in a case of six, so probably about fifteen dollars a can, but uh, I'll be able to spray those two and burn up a whole can. So yeah, so all right, and then we'll start on the Tasmanian Devil here in the middle. But once I get the LEDs, this is pretty intense. Doing all that takes quite a while. That took me the majority of the day, believe it or not. But I think it's going to be a very cool outcome. All right. Hope everybody's having a good center of the week. And we will see you soon. All right, good morning. I completed zone four. It <laughs> looks pretty cool. One more zone left to go. Just a little one. I got some uh, obligations about noon today. But yeah, very cool. So we've got the first four zones <laughs> completed. I did fix that one uh, LED that wasn't working in the center of zone two, but very cool. And this is kind of a dying battery. I'm using a three volt, so it's gonna be brighter than that, but that looks pretty bright as well. So very cool. All right, and we'll can continue in a little while and we'll finish this up today. Very cool, still waiting on the paint to dry. So, whew, it's been a, it's been a long road, but we'll see you soon. Alright, ready to see the reveal? I've got all the zones complete. Alright, bang, perfect. Very cool. And like I said, I'm gonna, uh, I've got the switch where it could go from front to back and then back to front where you can flick the switch either way, but yeah. Very cool. Let's see if I can get the, uh, turn off the lights. <laughs> And get a little bit darker, but yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> Very cool. That is awesome. Never seen a random star <laughs> with that effect. Very cool. All right, this will conclude progress for today. <laughs> Waiting on the paint and get some 2K clear coat on the uh, silver paint. And of course, I got to do the logo, but very cool. It's almost like hypnotic, isn't it? <laughs> got it. Uh, and I still got the uh, the plastic uh, protecting coating. As you can see, it's like brand new shiny. I we'll want to keep that on there until after, you know, when I'm installing it. That way it keeps the dust and any kind of fingerprints off it. But yeah, very cool. All right, hope everybody's having a good weekend. That is so cool. <laughs> All right. I could actually just watch this thing light up. I mean, it's just so neat. Imagine with the guitar completely assembled and the strings and playing it and everything like that. That's going to be so amazing. I love that one, I love the, the two little zones. Oh, so cool. All right, and we'll see you later. See you soon. Just wanted to show you real quick with the light <laughs> in the mirror. Very cool. Imagine the guitar is probably going to be about there. Very cool. And when you shift a little bit, each zone kind of comes into play, but very cool. All right. It's almost hypnotic. I can, like I said, I can actually sit there and just watch it light up. But very cool. Yep. Just hope everything else goes really smooth, which I hope it does. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, November 3rd, it's finally time to continue working on the light up random star electric guitar. I recently got all my LEDs in, so let me start working on zone two. And we'll see when we get some progress done. I'm so excited. Can't wait. See you quick update I uh, did the three zones and it's looking pretty awesome uh, gonna get the right angle <laughs> very cool all right that's a lot of work it's been like five hours to do those two zones I think the zone had let's see 238 and then this one had 190 so uh, not too bad um, and what my chart says, next zone is 205 uh, and then 65. So, but very cool. And that's going to look so awesome on the body of the guitar on the silver. So, all right, hope everybody's having a good day. That is so killer.
Yeah, and I think the zone, because it has less LEDs, it's slightly brighter, but that's fine. I mean, for the overall effect that it's going to produce, it's very cool. Alright, whew, I tell you what, I'm tired, I'm going to call it quits for today. But yeah, let's turn off the light, let's take a look and let's see. Let's see some better lights here. It's dark. Very <laughs> cool. One second. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so wicked. That is so cool. Turned out pretty awesome. Whew! I am beat, like I said. So. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue. And it's going to go both ways, from front to back, to back to front. So, Alright, hope everybody's having a good day again. And we will see you soon. Making some progress. See you a little bit. Very cool. I got one out. I got a chick with that one LED right there. Alright, Sam. Alright, good morning. I completed zone four. It <laughs> looks pretty cool. One more zone to left to go. Just a little one. I got some uh, obligations about noon today. But yeah, very cool. So we've got the first four zones <laughs> completed. I did fix that one uh, LED that wasn't working in the center of zone two. But very cool. And this is kind of a dying battery. I'm using a 3 volt, so it's going to be brighter than that. But that looks pretty bright as well. So very cool. All right, and we'll continue in a little while, and we'll finish this up today. Very cool. Still waiting on the paint to dry. So, whew, it's been a it's been a long road, but we'll see you soon. All right, ready to see the reveal? I've got all the zones complete. All right, bang, perfect. Very cool. And like I said, I'm gonna, uh, I've got the switch where it could go from front to back and then back to front where you can flick the switch either way, but yeah. Very cool. Let's see if I can get the, uh, turn off the lights. <laughs> and get a little bit darker, but yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> Very cool. That is awesome. Never seen a random star <laughs> with that effect. Very cool. All right, this will conclude progress for today. <laughs> Waiting on the paint. We get some 2K clear coat on the uh, silver paint. And of course, I got to do the logo. But very cool. It's almost like hypnotic, isn't it? <laughs> got it. Uh, and it's still got the uh, the plastic uh, protecting coating as you can see it's like brand new shiny I want to keep that on there until after you know when I'm installing it that way it keeps the dust and any kind of fingerprints off it but yeah very cool all right hope everybody's having a good weekend that is so cool <laughs> I could actually just watch this thing light up. I mean, it's just so neat. Imagine with the guitar completely assembled and the strings and playing it and everything like that. That's going to be so amazing. <laughs> I love that one. I love the, the two little zones. Oh, so cool. All right, and we'll see you later. See you soon. Wanted to show you real quick with the light <laughs> in the mirror. Very cool. Imagine the guitar is probably going to be about there. Very cool. And when you shift a little bit, each zone kind of comes into play. But very cool. All right. It's almost hypnotic. I can, like I said, I can actually <laughs> sit there and just watch it light up. But very cool. Yep, just hope everything else goes really smooth, which I hope it does. Alright, we'll see you in a bit.
Good morning. It is the 5th of November 2023. Continuing progress on the Ninja Star uh, electric light up guitar build. And I made a couple decisions. Um, seeing how this turned out so well. Um, actually, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, I found some resistors, um, some up resistors. Uh, not, it's not called a resistor. I'll have to show you in the other room. But online, I ordered these little microchips that increase. The uh, voltage from I can increase it from three volt, three point five volts to five volts. Each one of these zones on my switch here goes for three. Uh, you know, input of twelve goes to the switch where it goes down to each individual zone three uh three point five volts. And I want to increase the brightness enough, and I'll have to experiment with this. But I can increase each zone with just the three zones. I'm going to keep the two zones without the chip. Add a chip to the three zones, and it will increase the uh, LED output to 5 volts and because there's so many LEDs it'll brighten it just enough I think that it make it very cool um, and I've made a decision on the body um, I did paint the body silver and I was prepping it for uh, ready for some 2k clear coat very cool but I made some decisions on that as far as that's concerned as well see if I could do this with one hand kind of swing it over yeah I can do it okay great all right, um, see on the front, I want to get the lip a little bit more perfect because um, you can still see some like wood grain in the lip. So I'm going to do that more perfect and make that better. Um, so that means I'm going to have to redo the silver. I'm going to see it down. There's a couple points that uh, on the actual, yeah, see right here in the lip, you can see just a little bit of the line from where the two uh, pieces met. I mean, it would never separate, but I'm going to make that perfect. I want to make the body as perfect as possible. But I've actually decided I'm going to add a compartment, a battery compartment above the input access panel uh, where I can house the 12 volt battery. And it's going to be right above. Let's see if I can hang this back up and show you that way. Yeah, it's going to be right here. I'm going to put the, uh, so that means I'm going to have to drumble and countersink and then uh, channel and then fill in the channel and all that stuff right there for uh, the 12 volt battery. Because I've got the 9 volt battery over here for the uh, pickup. It's going to be MG81 pickup. But I was going to include the the uh, 12 volt battery in there and you have to take out screws to replace it, which kind of, well, wasn't that a big deal. But I'm going to have some, the, uh, the little chips that I'm going to upgrade the 3 to 5 volts are going to fit in here. And there's going to be three of them. So there's not going to be a lot of space in there. And I thought it was going to be kind of cramped anyway. So I'm just going to move the 12-volt uh, battery to right above here. So I'm going to have to redo the silver and sand and everything like that, which is fine. I think it'll make the finish more perfect. But I already ordered the... Uh, it's going to be a regular sized... Uh, I know it's kind of complicated. But like on the ET guitar, you see how... I've got the 9-volt uh, battery compartment. I'm going to use these same compartments, but I'm going to cut it in half because I'm only going to need it for the 12-volt. So that way you can access the 12-volt battery and change it there perfectly. And I think that'll match and make everything look good. Um, I'll have to show you all that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead probably... And I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and uh, install the plate on the body because I'm not really even sure if the lip that I created on the body is even deep enough to accommodate the LEDs. I mean, it, it theoretically, it looks pretty deep, and I think it should. But I'm going to go ahead and install that and do a full-on test with the switch and everything else and get it completely dialed in. That way I know uh, everything. Because I hate to do all the finishing work on the body and, and be kind of guessing on whether all that stuff will fit properly. See, I can make all the calculations now when it's unpainted. Because once you paint it and you get the 2K clear coat, it just, you know, to correct all that would be kind of a pain. So well, that's going to be kind of neat today. Maybe we can even, when we get it all installed, do a full-on string test. Um, for right now, because I don't have the switches, I'm just going to, you know, hook the 9-volt battery. And then just install everything and get everything, do a full-on test of the LEDs at their current brightness with everything just why not um and i'll have to install um you know before i install you know i'll you know i'm gonna put a logo here's how the headstock turned out really cool so i had a couple days dry but black headstock uh logo in the middle there as well 
and then 2k clear coat over the top but it seems how we're going to do a full-on test so yeah so we'll redo the silver and that was just the first layers of silver anyway and there's no rush i want to get this guitar perfect because this turned out so well that i'm going to up my game and try to make this as perfect as possible so yeah let's go do a full-on test to where we install everything on the body and like i said a lot when i get the compartments I'll cut out, drumble that, and get that all installed and sand that and everything. So make sure everything works good and have enough room for the switches, the upgrade from 3 to 5 volt chips. The chips are only like, you know, about the size of a dime. But there's going to be three of them in there with the two switches. And then with the wiring, and you know, I want to see if it's going to have any kind of, uh, you know, uh, sound from the wires through the pickups and everything like that too. So... I don't know, I might even consider doing a full-on test, uh, installing everything, the you know, wire it up and everything prior to any of that, prior to finishing the paint, just so I can get a, a ballpark figure of how everything's going to go. And I can redo everything, but yeah, I might just go ahead and assemble it, strings, pickups, everything, just to see how everything's going to work together prior to the final paint. Because once the, like I said, the final paint then so yeah that's gonna be cool that's gonna be exciting it's gonna take the majority of the day i was gonna work on the tasmanian devil here and then wait for the you know the parts but i figure i you know i want to get it right so let's do this first and get everything logged in and everything situated and do a full-on string test and sound test on the guitar itself and then we'll finish the paint because i can always correct the paint at this step but when you you know the paint is finished and locked in to complete you know to to change it all would be kind of a headache now i you know because the 2k clear coat once that's and it's just you know materials and supplies so let's go ahead and do that so let me get everything set up in the other room and then we'll we'll get this thing assembled we'll go ahead and do a full-on test of everything assemble everything and then we'll figure out the uh when those other parts come in, then I'll do the dremeling and the fixing of the, you know, just the minor imperfections. Because, you know, you could even see, like, there's, like, a minor, you know, just where you can see that it was two pieces of wood, you know, just fill that in. Just real itty-bitty minor stuff. But, you know, I want to make this guitar perfect. So, all right, we'll see. I got the body out. Got all my parts. Got all my equipment, tools, all that good stuff. Just wanted to show you real quick how the silver paint turned out and the lights. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be perfect because so that's going to be under. But I am going to make the lip more perfect. So we're going to go to the second round of wood grain filler and make the body more perfect and everything like that. And then when I cut out for the 12-volt uh, battery compartment right above the access panel there. Um, so I guess the first step is going to be to go ahead and get the, uh, the LED plate and get that going. Um, get the different zones wired. And I might have to widen this hole too. Let's see this. This is all. This is all a complete experiment. So I want to make sure everything works out prior to the final paint. So this is going to be a good step. Uh, get the wires and pull the wires through on all the different zones, and then start figuring out the wires. And we're going to go full. We're going to hook up the knife. You know the. We're going to do strings. We're going to do everything. We're going to sound test. I want to get it all checked out before the final paint. So. Yeah, so first thing, like I said, and then we're going to be drilling, attaching the uh, the faceplate with screws periodically in strate uh, strategic locations, and we're going to figure all that, and I want to have all that set too prior to paint as well. So let me go ahead and get the next step. All right, I got the body off the hanger, and I have taken apart all the electronics. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these uh, white fasteners. And I'm going to attach the different zone wires to where they need to be to the adequate spots. That way I can feed it through the main port and then work on getting the faceplate installed to the body. So let's work on that first. So let me figure that out and I'll see you in a bit. I right, had to take the plastic film off so that's cool. I'll just have to deal with any kind of fingerprints. Um, and I changed all the black wires. Um, to white that way it blends in perfectly which you can't see any of the wires at all now and i've got the uh you know the top f positioned on the body in a good way and i think we're good to go i think everything is within uh i think we got enough room so i'm going to go ahead and install the cover plate to the body so i'm going to go figure out the screws 
I'm guessing the first screw is going to be like right there and I'm going to try to space them out accordingly out of the way of everything and that way they're positioned in a way that's cosmetic but also functional so let me go ahead and figure all that out might have to bend some wires to make sure that everything stays and I want to try to get one in the corners um, to try to you know prevent anything from popping out maybe not in these corners I think those corners will be fine but definitely in the corner there corner there corner there and corner there have a screw I think this one I'll have to move but let me go ahead and get the screws ready and drill out some holes and then I'm going to countersink I'm going to use the regular pickup ring screws and figure that out so let's see you in a sec all right successful installation of the top play led to the body and i've got to say wow that is just amazing look at that that is so cool and it's not even the finished uh 2k clear coat over the body that looks just amazing wow i am just I mean, I just can't explain how that, that is just, oh man, that looks so cool. All right, so let me go through each individual zone and test to make sure that the installation didn't short out any LEDs or you just never know, but wow, that is just incredible. And I, like I was figuring, you see where I put the screws, one there, one there, one there. And there there and I spaced them out to where they're aesthetic but functional so very cool can't wait to install all the hardware that's gonna look so cool but yeah let me check the, through the zones and uh, make sure like I said nothing uh, came a mess I'm glad I decided to go with the test run because this you know doing these was definitely a little tricky and I don't want to have to and all the lines seem like they're measuring up still. So, all right. So let me check the zones and I'll be right All right, every zone is, is working perfectly. I've got the wires. I had to redo it. I had to pull out, pull off the top and then redo some wires. And then there was a black jumper wire that I replaced, but that's pretty cool, but it looks pretty awesome. All right, so the next step's gonna be to clean up my mess a little bit and then uh, start working on the guitar aspects of it. The actual, you know, install the pickup. Uh, ground wire is already installed so let me go ahead and install the uh let me think what to do next okay because the bridge is just already set so i don't have to worry about that um probably install the pickup so i'll get the wires to the pickup and pull them through to the potentiometer cavity and then so we'll work on that first and i don't think there's going to be a lot of wiggle room so let me get that out and i'll be right back i got the wire hooked up to the active 81 emg pickup and i got one screw installed that way i you know once i get the strings on there i can move it around and install that very last so next thing to do is to figure out uh go ahead and wire up the input jack and fish those wires through and i'll see when i get that done all right got my input jack pre-wired so i'll fish the wires through the, to the potentiometer cavity and i'll see you next step successful installation of the input jack and pretty cool and when I went through and checked all the wires for all the zones I marked them so we should be good to go all right so next step is to be to turn it over and start wiring up the pickup so all right I'll see in a little bit but it looks very cool you can see like the glisten of everything it's just amazing all right I'll see you in a bit all right get everything pulled through next step is going to be to go ahead and install the uh, 9 volt battery compartment so we get that out get that wired and then to pull the wires through all right we'll see in a little bit very cool Perfect installation of the 9-volt battery compartment. And you know what? I'm actually thinking about maybe, I don't know, not doing a two-coat, uh, uh, um, a clear coat over this one. I'm really digging the vibes of the silver, like very earthy, very industrial. You know what? I might. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I can always make another one. This will just be the prototype guitar of this type, but... Um, yeah, because I plan on doing more, but you know what? I'm really digging the silver the way it is. Not like completely glossy, like more, you know, like I said, industrial looking. But anyway, um, next step is going to be, I guess, to uh, 
go ahead and wire everything as far as that together. This switch is going to be for the, the lights. Um, so let me go ahead and get the pickup wired and everything. Get out my pedometer, uh, potentiometer rather, and go ahead and start working on the wiring. We'll do that and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, got all the wiring complete. Got pedometer pulled through and installed. Uh, I've got my hot lead. Very cool. Hopefully I can do this one hand. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. So as per usual, we'll go with the volume all the way down. Shouldn't get anything, and we get nothing. All right, and go with the volume all the way up. All right, awesome. Perfect wiring. All right, sweet. All right, next step is going to be to go ahead and work the LED section. Oh boy, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> so. I'll get the LED section all together, but man, that is looking amazing. Wow. Like I said, I might just elect to keep the, not go with the clear coat um, for this prototype because it does give it that very industrial vibe when it's not like perfectly glossy perfect. So, all right, so let's start working on the LEDs, um, figuring out the wiring for that. I'm probably going to put a towel down to protect the front. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I guess it all depends. All right, and we'll see you next step. Got my switch pre-wired with the green in the center for ground, and then the yellow and the blue for the two zones. So let me go ahead and figure this out. See you in a bit. All right, got all the wiring complete, and it looks pretty awesome. It's working perfectly. If I could do it all again, I'd make the start one zone here and the uh, one zone on the other way there but <laughs> for the time being so uh, and I had to omit the uh, carriage because uh, <laughs> next time around I'm gonna definitely make more room in the access you know potentiometer hopefully fingers crossed that the all the wiring for the electronics for the guitar pickup still work perfectly but I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, cover plate on Actually, I might do that last. Yeah, let me do that last, but uh, I can put the access panel plate for the, uh, the switch on. But I'll see you in a sec. A quick update. I put the pickup back in. I decided to go with that knob. There was two choices. I had a clear knob, but that knob's cool. Let me show you from the front to the back. The light up. Everything's working perfectly. Thank God. And then from the back to the front. Like I said, the only thing I would have done different, the back to the front, as soon as you turn it on, it starts there and then goes forward. But the one going forward starts there in the center. I would have had it start over there, but that's it's not quiggle over. And I checked the pickup, the pickup's working perfectly. So wow, that is just so killer. All right, so let me, uh, whew, that was pretty intense. I didn't put the back cover plate on. I'll do that later. I just want to make sure everything's good with the battery. But let me clean up my extensive mess. And then we'll start working on putting the guitar together and doing a string test and a sound test. Yeah. But uh, as far as all the wiring and everything goes, yeah, I'm not going to be able to go to play clear coat on this. So this is going to have to do. And I think it turned out really good. So And it does give it that real industrious vibe industrial vibe without the 2k clear coat so yeah because to redo all that electronics the way i did it to have to get everything squeezed into that compartment i'll, I'll next time around i'll when i do the second i'm going to do another one of this these and the third one even fourth you know keep going with these different shapes but next time around i'm going to make it a lot more uh room in the access potentiometer in the cavity there and there was barely enough room to fit everything in there i need to fit in there so all right, Ooh. so let me clean up the mess, and I'll see you in a sec. All right, got the body put up, uh, got the neck out. I'm going to go ahead and put a headstock logo and made in the USA on the headstock there. Got the cricket machine out. All right, so let's get that going. And All right, got everything cleaned up. Um, got the neck out. It's time to put a headstock logo and uh, on the front of the headstock. Got the cricket machine out, so let me get some progress down there. Gonna put the Raglan logo and made in USA. Oh yeah. So we'll see you get some progress done there. See you in a bit. Alright, perfect installation of the headstock logo. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. I right, made in the USA. I think I got the spacing just about right. Awesome. Alright, so let me clean up my mess that I just made. 
and then we'll go ahead and install the string or the uh, the tuners. Very cool. All right, last thing we'll see in a bit. All right, got the uh, Cricut machine put away. I'm gonna go ahead and install the string trees, and I'll see you in a bit. Very cool. All right, installation of the string trees complete. Looks pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get the body and the neck together. Let's get the body back out and join the necks of the body and see how that goes. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Got the neck and the body together. Let's get these two together. Uh, install the neck to the body. Hopefully, fingers crossed it goes well. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, perfect attachment to the neck to the body. Everything <laughs> looks like it's lined up perfectly. Good to go. And I'm really liking the fact that it's, I mean, Ideally, I would want the clear coat over that, but for this, I'm going to start calling this the prototype because this is the first one. I had to make sure to do a full-on test with that prior to the clear coat, so why not do it on the prototype? But yeah, that turned out really cool. So let me go ahead and install the bridge and then get my two E-strings on there, and then we'll see how it goes from there. We'll see you in a bit. Very cool, though. All right, got the two E-strings installed. Looks like dead center. Perfect. Right in the center there. And let me go ahead. I think the pickup is good right there. Actually, let me take the uh, the screw out and see if I can shift it over. Just a little bit. I'll get that. Go ahead and install the pickup, all four screws. But very cool. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Very cool. Got all the strings installed. I went ahead and installed the uh, strap buttons. Very cool. <laughs> All right, next step is to get everything up to pitch and get everything intonated and dialed in perfectly. Oh, wow, that looks so cool here. Let's check it out with the light. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so bright, too. I don't think I need that chip for future reference. Very cool. That is just so awesome. And then going the other way. <laughs> not the coolest thing you've ever seen that is probably the coolest th this is definitely the coolest guitar I've ever made from concept to where it is now I mean fingers crossed everything goes well with the setup and hopefully the pickup still works I mean I did a sound check before I did it buttoned everything up but yeah <laughs> all right very cool all right, I might not get to the string test. It's about 9 o'clock. I'm at or 10 o'clock, actually. I've been at it pretty much all day long. I've been 12 hours straight. Uh, but, yeah, I've got so much progress done. Very cool. All right, let me get some string tension. If I don't see you, if you see this video and it ends here, then I'll do all the string test and the sound check tomorrow. But very cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. <laughs> I got it in tune and sounding good. I just wanted to show you one more time with everything installed. Very cool. All right, let me get put on a strap. Fire up the old amplifier and let's give it a go. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, get on the strap. See where it hangs. Listen to how this baby sounds. Yeah, brand new string, so. Stretching a little bit. Got a basic intonation on it. I'll go more in depth and thorough. Wow. Pardon me, I'm just so tired.
so completely dry from working on this. better sound test. I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> my hands are just, uh, just feel so dry and icky. From over from the LEDs through the pickup I'm surprised I mean it's that's just so cool <laughs> cool need to go wash my hands but very cool yeah my hands are just so uh, just so dry and so full of just dust and debris that <laughs> that's better give you a quick sound demonstration even though I am like extremely just beyond tired I'm working on this all day long but just wanted to show it to you Let's see if I can sit down and play it oh yeah very cool <laughs> That's why I got the battery compartment out. I haven't got that because I was making sure this battery, so that's what it was. The battery was falling out the back. <laughs> let this settle overnight. I love that volume now. 
let it settle overnight, like I said, and then we'll do a full-on string test. Do a full-on sound test when I'm not like extremely exhausted. But yeah, let me uh, plug it here. Show you again. All right, thanks for following me on this long update today. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> And we will continue tomorrow. I'll get it dialed in perfectly. But the LEDs, wow, that turned out just so killer. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> and this is just the prototype. I'm gonna probably do several more shapes of this exact same one. And seeing how I learn from this one. Very cool. And uh, the front facing it like I said it's replaceable I mean I can take it all apart and if there's any LEDs that have any kind of issues or shorts out I can just replace it so every one of these LEDs is completely replaceable that's what's cool about this design so yeah thanks again for following me on this really cool build oh wow I know I keep saying I'm so tired but literally 9 this morning and here it's already 1044 so I've been at it for 14 hours so I'm a little little goofy happy but all right like i said it's hypnotic that uh the leds and it's so bright i'm so happy that it it turned out i did order some of the uh the microchips that increase the the uh intensity of the signal you know increases from 3.5 to 5 volts but i really don't think it's necessary at all so very cool all right thanks again and we will see you tomorrow but I'll post this and it'll be kind of a late post, but if you see this, give it a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Random Star Light of Guitar is fully assembled. Except for the back cover plate, I just wanted to make sure that the battery was good to go. So, alright, and we'll see you soon. Alright.